Hello and welcome to ESG Finance. Today I'd like to talk to you about Tesla stock, uh, but first, ESG Finance is a YouTube channel that I'm dedicating to financial independence where you can learn how to be financially independent as well as happier and healthier. So let's dive into this today. Uh, I will reveal to you that my portfolio is 10% Tesla stock and we have a huge market crash today. It is June 13th, 2022. Uh, so the Tesla stock has taken a huge hit, 7%. And some of the headlines here is Tesla recently announced a three for one stock split. Largely, uh, stocks do better after they announce the stock split. Uh, so we'll see what happens uh, after today. It might go up, but the macro environment is largely driving Tesla down. So let me tell you guys what I'm doing with Tesla, Tesla stock. Well, as we get these downturns, I am dollar cost averaging into this purchase of Tesla stock. And every time there's kind of a valley like there is today, I pick up a little more stock. And I'm not worried about um, this downturn. I'm not gonna be selling any Tesla. And that's because basically it's, Probably the going to be the top forward-looking company in the S&P 500, in my opinion. This is not financial advice. I'm just a guy on the internet. Please consult your financial experts in terms of stock trading advice. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and what my perspective on Tesla stock is. I think it's 10 out of 10, and I think it's a money-printing machine in this inflationary environment. So although it's trading 87 times earning earnings so the pe ratio is 87 uh there's just too much going for this stock they're sold out of each one of their brands they've just opened two new factories this year that aren't wrapped ramped up in terms of production there's no end in sight for people wanting these cars because obviously gas prices you guys know about gas prices uh so i think there will be a high demand for the product that they're trying to sell Think of the first Apple iPhone that came out. That's how I see Tesla. I see it equivalent. These cars are like cell phones, like smartphones, as a matter of fact. I own a Tesla Model 3 myself, best car I've ever owned. And not by just a little bit, by a lot, by like a mile. Fastest, best handling, uh, best software. Uh, the AI on the car has saved me several times. And um, you have to look at this from the perspective of, of this is a huge steal. This stock price right here, you're about to go down. So it's the it's going to trade around 200 as soon as the split happens. You're not going to get any money from that, but it'll be easier to buy the stock. And typically stocks that split are more attractive because you can get into it uh, easier uh, for those of you that are not do not have access for uh, partial shares. So I'm holding, as a matter of fact, I'm buying into this dip and I will continue to do so until, you know, St Tesla takes off and is kind of prices me out, is too expensive to, to purchase any more shares. And then I'll be selling as soon as I think that the demand for these cars is kind of, is kind of declined. But that's my perspective on Tesla stock. Um, take it as a grain of, take it with a huge grain of salt. I'm just a guy on the internet, but this is the best buy in this inf inflationary market. They can set their own price for their vehicles. Their vehicles are fantastic. Everyone wants them and um, prices will stay high because demand is high. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one.